Agriculture in Mexico is considered one of the most relevant economic activities and it generates a large number of jobs in the country. It is considered the most important productive sector from the economy, social and environmental point of view. So it depends on the primary diets of millions of people, the increase of productive population and the preservation and care of the environment. In Mexico, there are about 200 agricultural products that it may cultivate within the country. The area dedicated to agricultural production in Mexico is very wide, since so occupies just over 30% of the total national territory, which is 11 to 145 million acres dedicated to this activity. Where corn and beans represent more than 80% of the agricultural production, being the most cultivated products in the entire republic. Mexico is the five largest producer of the bean in the world, and Durango, the state where we reside, is the second largest producer of bean nationally. In this, we can see that the agricultural sector is one of the sectors that has the greatest impact in the national level. Therefore, it was designed to carry out the bean tration machine to facilitate this process for the agricultural workers, managing to carry out the process of the separating beans from the pole automatically. All of this in support of the farmers who don't have the possibility to offer an industrial machine for shelling of the bean leaf. Therefore, the machine will make farmers' life easier to offer for cost. It is that several of the bean farmers there don't have the possibility to rent by a machine to harvest the bean. So we took into that account and made up a small kill machine in order to help these farmers, thus reducing the cost of the machine to make it more accessible to them. Another thing is that at the moment of taking the beans out of the leaf, it's quite tiring if you don't make hand. Our project has a vision of small scale farmers, so you don't will pull out about 1.5 tons of beans per day. It will proper use with dedicated in the machine. Thanks to this, the bean producer who has three to five acres will be able to reduce her harvest time, all this to save money and earn more money with less physical effort. Analyzing the bean threshing process, we analyze the different machine designs to perform this function. Taking into account how to perform this process in a simple way, we decided to perform this machine in a way in which the supply of each hopper receives the product to be shelled. It passes to a chamber where there are two cylinders that shell the pots. From there, the grains are selected by double screening as well as a system of separate. The fans expel the residues and we are going to be obtaining clean grains. The advantage of using this structure is that the product will come out in a clear way. This because the meshes will help us to separate the leaves from the beans, but what really makes the machine different from the others is that the air generated by the fans makes it easier to remove the deer and leaves that may have been there behind. Another important benefit of our machine is that we don't need any system to enter the bean pots into the rollers, since by means of gravity the pots automatically enter to the hopper. In the market, you can find machines that manage to carry out the bean threshing process. However, the price of this machine fluctuates in high quantities, being an available option for farmers who plant large scales, but unlikely option for farmers with a few hectares of sow. As we mentioned before, our machine is designed for people with few resources, standing out before the competition with an affordable price, in addition to having the quality to carry out this process. We have two different mechanical elements for this project, two rollers whose function will be to separate the bean pots, and in addition to this, there will also be two gears, which function will be transmitted the movement of the motor to the rollers. The recommended revolutions per minute for a bean chiller machine are between 750 to 900 revolutions per minute. Taking this into consideration, we use a 2 to 1 transmission to achieve a reduction in the velocity. We use two pulleys, a 75 mm pulley and another one of 150 mm. We also have a belt with a length of 114.5 cm. Therefore, we managed to reduce the 1725 revolutions per minute that are from the motor to 862.5.
to share this movement from one axis to another, we use a one-to-one -one transmission. For the materials that we use in our machine, first we have the high quality steel PTL of one inch and a quarter. The PTL tube is used for industrial maintenance, agricultural employment, and transport equipment. This type of material will be used to create the machine support. Then we have the <coughs> stainless steel plate of 3.4 millimeters. The stainless steel plate is the most popular and economical stainless of the steels. It has a resistance to corrosion for many chemicals and as well for industrial atmospheres and outdoor environments. Then we have the controlled steel bar of one inch and a quarter. It is ideal for parts where uniform harness is required. Its mechanical properties and machinability make it one of the most widely used steels. Then we have the measurements of the machine. It has a height of 1 meter with 35 centimeters. Then we have a length of 40 centimeters and a width of 40.6 centimeters. And with it, we have that the feed hopper has the capacity to add 900 bean pots. We made the statical analysis to know that the structural parts of our machine are perfect for the job. We know that the safety factor is a number that indicates the capacity of our machine, depending on the materials used. For that, it is a number greater than 1. Making the analysis using the software SOLIDWORKS, we could know that the safety factor of the structure of the bin shader is 1.59, knowing that the machine is perfect for the job. This process is simple to carry out, however, it's still tedious activity and takes too much time for the farmer, causing economic losses. So, automating this process will bring important advantages as any automatic process seeks to facilitate the performance of this activity for the human being. With the machine, it's possible to reduce the time of the process, achieving greater productivity for the farmers, in addition to generating a gain of ineffectiveness. To be able to understand how all processes automatized, we have to understand the manual process where the pounding or threshing consists of separating the bean from the pot by heating with a stick. It's important to know when to do it and generally the bean, uh, the bean plants are ready to pound 5 to 10 days after the harvest. After that they take the leaves out and they use the the wind to separate the soil from the beans and remove the leaves and that have been remated. The electrical materials we need to automatize the process are next. First, the motor, which is function is to move the rollers to charge the beans. This throw a folding. The motor works with 127 volts and have a velocity of 1750 RPMs, which requires 6.3 amper stop. Then we have the thermomagnetic switch that helps us to prevent an, electric, an electrical short circuit and damage electrical components and connection. The chosen thermomagnetic switch supports a maximum current of 10 amperes. This will be enough for our system. Encapsular relay, which was chosen because it protects the motor in case of a failure. So it is important to have uh, this component in our machine. It is a key. Uh, this in order to make a safe and durable machine. Also, to make the machine safe for our users, we decided to implement an emergency stop switches. This to start and stop the machine in a correct way. All these has to be connected by 3 by 12 wire, wire with whistle-like a 12 gauge wire of the road use. This having in mind that it can support a 25 amperes. This according with the NOM 001 CD 2012, Instalaciones Eléctricas, Utilización. And it will be enough for our system and using a, a main clue to energize all the components and we work, we work with 110 volts and we have a current of 15 amperes. With all these components, the machine will be able to move up with, with a, a, a band will move 2 years, moving the rollers. This can be dangerous for the users, so we decided to implement some protectors. The first protector will be in the top part of our machine, allowing only the entry of beans. Preven preventing something else from the happening and damaging the rollers. The other security element we implement was two protectors uh, for the police and the reviewers. This because at the beginning they were exposed 
Uh, so, with these protectors, we avoid that. The part of the controller. As we could see at the beginning, the environment of the machine will be hard for the work of our machine is focused. As we said before, we want to make the machine as cheap as we can. It is the reason we didn't design to implement a controller. Due to this, we made the machine more expensive and it couldn't support the environment it is made. But do not have a, a, control, a controller is not bad because the machine will do the automatic process as we want. Energy consumption. Taking account the energy that each component needs, we have the motor, which needs 0.37 kilowatts, and the fans, which needs 0.036 kilowatts, and the cost per kilowatt is 64 pesos. So, doing the calculations, we have a bimensal energy consumption of 99.77 pesos. Sure to perform one of these machines, a piece of PTR is both. This one measures around 6.01 meters. To make the table, you will only need 3.8 meters. So, one piece of PTR is enough to make the table of our project. This one is going to be good in 4 parts of 62.5 cm and all 4 parts of 32.5 cm. Once this is done, the machinery part will be made in CNC with plasma to facilitate the production. Rollers and gears will also be made in CNC, but the difference is that the roller will be in a lathe. Two rollers and two gears will be made for this project. The assembly of the project will be made with electrical welding to have better control of the art. After this, the mechanism and the motor will be put. Finally, we will polish and paint the machine to have a better finish and a good presentation for the machine. In this operation, we all materials the our project destined to the field and designed to be outdoors environments, exposed to dirt, dust, etc. Therefore, materials that can withstand such environment as laminate and PTR will be used in the retail. Now we show you the simulation of one of our pieces. As you can see, it's a year. To make this simulation, we use a Pro and Cam Swanson, uh, which allows to use a CNC model machine called Has VM. In real life, we are going to machine two gears along with two rollers. But the rollers, we are going to use a machine uh, to machine a CNC leg. The type of welding we use for our project is electric arc welding. This is because it gives us stability, it is cheap, in addition to providing a robust and durable welding. The type of electrode that we use will be E6030. This electrode is commonly used for car bodies, iron ornaments, metal furniture, and agriculture implements. Our idea of sale is through the distribution to many hardware stores or companies where material or machinery for agriculture are sold. In this way, we will only be charged of big suppliers. And the distribution for the public will be done by our companies. The machine can be distributed nationally by purchasing a certain number of machines from companies that are required. In this way, they will spread throughout the Republic and a large market will be created with this. The competition with similar machines increased and will benefit all farmers who need a machine to facilitate the work of challenge the beans. And they have many options to choose which one is the best for their work and budget. Our main concern is to reduce the costs to such an extent that it's accessible to all those farmers who require a bean shelter. Therefore, all our parts have the best prices that we could find in the market, but without reducing the quality that the machine would have. The general production cost of the machine are 4,214 pesos in structural material expense, which include all the materials of the basic materials structure as well as the machine parts. Uh, 434 pesos in consumables, which includes all the consumables that the assembly of the machine uh, requires such as welding, electricity, etc. Uh, 1,690 pesos in electrical equipment which includes all the electrical equipment used within such as the cable and the motor. On the other hand, the owners of the product, we know that we have to obtain a benefit from the building of the machine. So we must 
always take care of the prices for the consumer. The final price of the machine to the distributors is 8,999 8, pesos, obtaining a percent gross profit uh, margin of 29.5%, which has a net profit margin of 24.5%. Once we consider different additional costs, so we consider that we offer a quality machine at a good price and we get a good profit margin. Among the options of the offered by the market, this type of machine is scarce and most of the time it's usually expensive. Due to the cost of this except uh, the 18,000 pesos and it increases depending on the machine's capacity. Because of this, they are mass produced and none of them are dedicated to the farmers who often lose their money because they have to sell the product with, without trade sheet and they lose their money. It is concluded that the project has great potential to be created and distributed as a new product on the market. All this was possible thanks to the knowledge acquired throughout the career, which reflects the knowledge and development of my partners at create a project from a sketch to take it to its physical elaboration. Unfortunately, this is not currently possible due to the current sanitary conditions.